I'm going to do a first boot up of the 399 Xbox One without Connect. Probably have to start it from the console because the controller is probably not synced. And let's see what happens. Let's see if it requires the old day one uh, patch that would like, you know, remove all the crap. Oh, I heard it, but I don't see anything. Plugged in. Uh, it's always something. For a lump sum of money. Oh, there we go. Must have just took a while to boot up. Weird. Probably had you as scared as me. Huh. Well, this is going to be a pointless video, so now I'm probably going to have to redo it. Oh, there we go. Hit the uh, so this is the same stuff that we normally have to do. I know the screen looks horrible. It's sunny out. Espanol, Francais, Anglais. can't even sync it. And now I gotta look at my tablet or something where I have the... Well, I can't do my tablet since I'm... Now I'll have to cut the video and come back once I uh, figure this out. Okay, so now I got the, the Wi-Fi information in and I'm connected. Again, I should be getting a new camera soon, so... Hopefully... You know, you can actually see my screen now, which isn't a big deal, because if you think about it, the Xbox One's going to do a uh, direct video capture, which I'm really excited about. So, let's see what we got here. i got to get a little closer so I can see. Start update. And, uh, 700 megs, that's not bad at all. But I'm pretty sure that is the um, day one update from back in November, because it doesn't seem to be any... Uh, I think that one was around the same size. So, I mean, unless that's just the regular size, because, you know, you would know from if you had a PS3, you know, the average update was, like, anywhere from, like, 160 megs to 200, and every single time there was a new update, it was that same size. So I'm not sure if this is the July or the June update, and it's just that same size, or if this is a the standard one that it has to go through, I'm not sure yet. But regardless, once I'm actually on the dashboard, we should be able to figure that out. And this probably won't take too long, but I will uh, cut the video and then come back when it's all loaded up. And we'll see how that works. Well, it's just about to finish the update process. That probably took closer to 25 minutes, but I think it must install some of the uh, data while it's actually doing that because it, sometimes it like would stick on like 20 20 percent for like two minutes, then it would jump. So for whatever reason. But now it's sped up at the end, so now we here we go. Okay, restarted, turned it back on with my controller, so my controller is synced up. Hopefully this time it doesn't stay on a black screen, it boots up quicker. Although it's still probably going to have to go through a further, uh, you know, first time boot up screen. Yep. Well, obviously it still has to, like, you know, initialize all the software into it for the dashboard and then before you get to that I'm hoping it will just let me sign right into my Microsoft account and that might take a while to sync up I'm not sure because you know on PlayStation you gotta sync the trophies and that can actually take a good long time for some reason I think Xbox is just all cloud based it doesn't actually download it onto your console I don't think 
This is taking a good while, so I might have to cut the video again. That looks like it's, it's doing something. The the light on the console went dim, and then lit back up. I'm not sure if that was standby mode, or if it's just because the console is still like putting software and just kind of making the light flicker. this is definitely pretty boring so I think I'll just cut the video again and come back when something new happens I'm not even sure if I'm gonna use this video I'll just hope that maybe something unique would pop up like a dancing monkey or something that would have some posterity value to put online so hopefully something nice comes up next Let's see what happened Turn the controller back on Okay, so apparently it is done. It's updating. You damn skippy. Well, I will type this in and then I'll be back again. So this is the screen that appears right after I typed in my uh, Microsoft email and password. Is it just privacy settings? Uh, actually, kind of like to read these because you know all this stuff spun on you. Of course, we don't have to connect in this model, but I always like to read it. Now, if it's like 20 pages, like the privacy statement, I'm not going to read that. But sometimes they give you the gist on here. Next. Since I'll be the only one using this, I think I'll be fine with that one. Sign in instantly. Yes, of course. I don't know why you wouldn't want that. It's better than connect. I don't like the connect one. I'm not sure if that only automatically signs you in if it detects your face or what. Because if you did have to connect, then again, I don't. So. It's just next. I don't like how they make your icon so small. Because I guess you got to update to the Xbox One ones or you have to use that little one. Personally, I like a, just like a dark black. I don't know if that gray would look nice, in, or the green. I'm sure you can change this in the settings, so I'll just go with the green for now. I wish they would actually put custom wallpaper or themes in there, I don't know why. As far as I know, I don't know why they don't have that in there. It'd be a quick way to make a few dollars. So there we go. It should be all signed in and ready to go. I'll just check, you know, so that we have to watch a video. seen this before so I don't care. I guess I should press it. Yep. So that's unique. It'll probably take me a little bit of time to figure this one out, but this must be the updated one because as you can see the uh, battery life is down at the bottom. See if what happens if I hit home again. Okay, it takes me there. Um, yeah, so my gamer score is there, everything's there. Loads pretty quick. I'll worry about that later. I do like this new feed here, but it seems pretty nice. Now where is settings? Press to start, just press the start button on here, which I guess is considered the menu button now. That's a quick way to get the settings I suppose. Uh, pretty quick load time, not bad. Uh,
the only thing I care about right now is just to show you is just the update. Not probably update. Well, that's a good question. I wonder how I can update the controller because there wasn't any cable to connect the controller to. And I do plan on getting a recharge kit probably next pay, but I wonder how I, if I can do that wirelessly or not. Update controller with a USB cable. See, I actually don't have one of those because I don't have a cell phone anymore. My tablet uses proprietary. So, looks like I can't do that. But that's no big deal. Console. More than likely, that is the... Yeah, it's, uh, I think it said no update available. Yeah, it did. So, it's all set up. So this is the June update with the... I'm not sure why it's out of focus there. My hand. So this is the June update. I will, I'm just gonna pop a game, <coughs> pop a game in, and see what happens. I have Ghost and Madden 25. Let me see which one has the smaller install. Uh, Madden doesn't even say. It said somewhere. Oh, let's see. Oh, 20. Well, I'm going to go ahead and install Madden first, just so I can get right in. It's in the game, so I can jump right into the game. Because that one will probably install a lot quicker. So let's just see what happens. Nice um, front-loading disc slot. That's nice. Nice loud and clear sounds. Update, 305 megabytes. It's fine. I'd rather install the game first and not have to use my internet connection so I can get this stuff uploaded. But, see, that, this is something I really like though background downloads. Where you can still do things while it's taken care of. And I don't have the fastest internet ever. So, I mean, I can still browse the store and stuff, but I can't, you know, go watch YouTube. Probably it would probably lock everything up because there would be too much bandwidth. But. So you get to keep tabs on it down here. Press A, it doesn't do anything. I don't know how far you have to get into it until it'll let you at least play like offline. Probably 50%, just a guess. But it's installing pretty quick, and I'll just close with my thoughts on that. Now my uh, PC is a quad-core AMD, which isn't anything phenomenal, but it's pretty substantial. It makes it fair, fast enough for me. I think it's a fair processor. And if I'm transferring songs or pictures, Usually a gig or two takes less than a minute, maybe a minute, minute and a half tops. And this is an 8 core, again it's an AMD so it's nothing spectacular but this is totally customized for obviously this operating system. And I don't think an install, you know, this is only a 20 gigabyte game, um, Ghost is about 50 which is ridiculous. We really do need that external storage now because you know 10 games and you're pretty much filled up on here depending on what they are but that's a fair install speed right there because it with an 8 core processor it shouldn't take that long to install and as, assuming that it continues that speed the whole way through then that's not too bad because if you had to sit here and wait like hours that would be ridiculous but that's not bad so I mean, I'm going to continue content, of course. I might try a few in-game captures. I don't know how to do that yet. But if I can do that, then I'll... I think those can be uh, pulled off at uh, external USB now. I only have a 4 gigabyte USB, so hopefully those files aren't that big. I can upload a few of them to YouTube that way, unless I can directly do it from here. So I'll be trying some things like that. Of course, stay subscribed. And I'll have more things coming. I do plan on getting a PS4. But I might not get one right away now, because this will probably keep me plenty happy for now. Plus, if the Xbox, for whatever reason, would really start to sell a lot better now with this price cut, you might see Sony in the next few months or after E3 perhaps introduce like a bundle of a game or two. Or maybe even cut the PS4's price for $25, $50 just for a few months even to keep the advantage on the Xbox. But that's just speculation. But for me, I, since I'm happy with this, I'm fine with keeping... Uh, 
keeping this for now, just in case I could take advantage of some Sony deal in the future. Uh, if you want to add me, go ahead. If you can put something in the description, I don't know if you can do that, just put, you know, saw me on YouTube, and then I'll know you're not some random, like, spam person or something. Uh, I'll stop talking now so I can look forward to playing some games, so I hope all these videos help, and that you enjoyed them. If you did like them, again, then that lets me know I can make more, that you want to see this stuff. Um, subscribe, check out the unboxing of the 399 Connectless Xbox One, and uh, just thanks for watching, I'll see you in the next one.